hey guys welcome back to our channel it's your girl Yaya if you're new here if you're not hey 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 as you can tell by the title I'll be doing a story time on basically how I found out I had COVID so let's get right into the video so I believe it was May 9th of this year and I remember having the craziest headache ever but I didn't really pay no mind because you know I normally get headaches here and there so I didn't really think that it was a big issue at first until the headache didn't go away for nothing like the headache lasts for probably like a few days straight and basically I remember taking something for my headache like a few days in a row and I'm like man this headache is not going away like what is going on so um that went on for a couple of days so a little backtrack of the story during the whole pandemic I went nowhere like me and the kids were home um I probably went to the supermarket here and there but basically we stayed in house like I probably went to um, the supermarket a few times but most of the times I ordered groceries so therefore that I wouldn't have to go outside and come in contact with people so I'll say 90% of the time I would order groceries if it was something that wasn't available online I would go to the store and get it but that was a few times out of the whole time that we were in a pandemic kids were home they um did remote learning the whole time like even when um school opened back up and kids was able to go back i kept mine home so they was home the whole time um i even missed the kids doctor's appointment because i was just afraid of coming in contact with people so i would um reschedule it you know further on out to see how things would go like as far as you know if the cases went down and you know all of that nature because I was just nervous like I wasn't sure like any little contact one of us may get it so I just try to avoid it all the way around so anyway back to what I was saying um so it was uh May 9th that I found out but I clearly had it beforehand because the symptoms leading up to that day is why I went and also because basically someone in my family tested positive for it so the doctor told the family member um, whoever you got it whoever you had close contact with tell them to get it um, tested so um went I took all the kids to get tested minus Quentin because he was too young so I went and got tested and Darion and Larry was negative and me and London was positive and um I was told to just quarantine for 12 days and then um after that just to get tested again to make sure everything was fine so the whole time we were in quarantine um my symptoms got worse it wasn't it didn't get bad to the point that i had to go to the hospital but it got worse as far as so i was only experiencing headaches at first but then after the headaches it came the body aches then it came the sore throat and then everything after that that you can think of the only thing that didn't happen to me which I, which I was grateful for is the loss of the um, taste and smell like that didn't happen to me so I was um, kind of grateful for that but the symptoms was just getting worse and worse like I didn't have I didn't have trouble breathing or anything like that but okay so I don't if you ever have the flu 
So just think of how you feel having the flu, but probably 20 times worse. So like I said, um, at first it was the headaches and then every day came after that. So after a while, I couldn't even do anything. Like I was stuck in the bed. And I used to still have to, you know, drag myself out the bed because, you know, I have kids. So, you know, I have to attend to their needs. And it was just so hard trying to even get up to even do any of those things. So, I don't know if me moving around helped me get better a little faster because, I don't know, I just always thought that like, you know, so like you get sick and you're stuck in a bed and you're not moving around, it'll prolong the sickness, but if you actually get up and being active, like, you know, it'll help the situation out. I'm not sure if it's actually true, but, you know, I think it is. So anyway, um, thankfully London, she didn't really have any symptoms. The only thing she had was a headache, and her headache only lasts probably for like two to three days. So I was grateful for that. And then I also had to worry about, okay, me and London are positive. I have other kids, so it's like, we can try our best to stay away from them, but we're in the same household, so that's gonna be hard. And especially for Quentin, because not only did they say he was too young to get tested, he was one at the time. So you know, you know how one year olds are. Well, you know, not all, but some. Like they want to be under you a lot. Like that's the type of child Quentin is. Like he likes to be under me. Uh, he wants to go everywhere I go. He wants to lay, like he just wants to be under me 24 seven. So, you know, me and London had to walk around in the house with masks on, you know, trying everything just to be on the safe side. So probably about seven or eight days into the quarantine, Quentin got a real bad cold, sneezing, coughing, headache, everything. And you know, I contacted his doctor and I told his doctor what was going on. Basically, I tested positive. You know, I've been wearing a mask. I've been trying my best, you know, to keep him not under me so much, but it's hard being that he's one year old. So, um, you know, his doctor was just telling me just to make sure I keep him hydrated, um, to make sure that he's taking his daily vitamins because you know at that age it's not really nothing they can do so I believe that he caught COVID because like I said he never got tested but the symptoms that he was having and they came after I got tested positive I believe that he had it but I, I, I can't say 100% sure because, you know, he was too young to get tested. So, um, I basically started taking, probably like on day nine, I, I started taking um, elderberry, sea moss, um, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, um, iron pills because I'm anemic so I don't like taking iron pills. My doctor give it to me all the time and tell me I have to make sure I take it but I would just throw it in the drawer and leave it and it'll sit there and I don't and I'll wind up not taking it but being that I had COVID I'm like you know my body is already going through a lot trying to fight this off and me being anemic just make it even worse so you know let me start taking these iron pills so you know I started taking my iron pills um I was drinking teas I was drinking vitamin C the um the vitamin C what is it called it comes in a packet 
it's a powder. Yeah, it comes in a packet. It's a powder. You mix it with the water. Um, can't think of it, but yeah, I was, I was just drinking that every morning. Um, they said drink a lot of orange juice. So I was doing that. I was just trying to do everything to get better, so I would, so my symptoms would decline, and I wouldn't have to go into the hospital. And so, forth and so, forth. so after doing that every day and everything consistently is when I started feeling better but when I tell y'all COVID is no joke COVID is no joke oh and and also I was working from home like so you could just imagine I didn't see outside it, it would be weeks and weeks and weeks of me not even seeing outside like I would say that I probably like I said 90% of me staying in the house during the pandemic I did probably even 95% because I barely put any video I would say 95% of the time I was home so I'm like wow I avoided um going outside coming in contact with people and still want them getting it but i'm like you know there's nothing i can do all i can do is just you know make sure i get back healthy because i have these kids to take care of you know i was just scared of i was just thinking the worst and i'm, I'm glad that it didn't get to the worst because i've seen people healthy and caught COVID and they just declined so fast so you know I was nervous about that but you know I prayed every night every morning I made sure I took all my vitamins that I needed to be um, I even cut out a lot of stuff that wasn't good as far as you know a lot of I cut out pork I cut that out I stopped eating um, red meat, so I don't eat no red meat. I stopped, I stopped a lot of things, well I'm going to say a lot of things, but I stopped a few things that um, I should have stopped a long time ago, but once I found out about that I had COVID, I was like, yeah, um, it's time for me to get on the right track as far as my health. Like, I wasn't doing, you know, bad with my health. You know, I just would eat bad and, you know, I want to get on the healthier side. I also, during um, the time that I had COVID, I also made sure I drank green smoothies twice a day, um, made sure I had a lot of ginger. Like, I just basically did my research as far as what can help at home for me to get better so I can avoid going to the hospital all the way around. So yeah, that's basically the story on how I found out that I had COVID, what I took to help the situation, and what I did to avoid it getting worse, in my opinion. You know, I'm not no doctor, so I'm not 100% sure that what I was doing was helping. But, you know, the benefits of some of the things I, I was taking, you know, I looked it up and, you know, it was good benefits for your body. So I believe that, you know, a lot of the stuff that I was doing and taking was helping. So, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below if you guys know anybody who had COVID or you um, experienced having COVID yourself and what you did to get over it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.